Our first guest tonight is an Emmy and Grammy-nominated actress and singer. You know from her work on Glee, Scream Queens, and Broadway's Spring Awakening. She stars as Fanny Bryce in the Broadway revival of Funny Girl, which is playing now at the August Wilson Theater. Please welcome to the show, Leah Michelle, everyone! <laughs> And I'm like freaking out I right know. now. Oh, it's pretty. He's hosting the car Oscars. I, I heard. I DVR'd it while I was waiting. Oh, yeah, yeah. get ready. You don't want to miss so it. I'm so excited. Um, I'm so excited to have you here. And I also want to say how uh, grateful I am that you were using your one day off uh, in the Broadway schedule week to be with us. Thank you so much for that. Oh, no, I'm very happy. I'm so happy to be here. I know. it's. Um, I do seven shows a week, and we get Mondays off. And yeah, it's a pretty. Pretty crazy schedule. It is a crazy <laughs> schedule. I know you have a, a two and a half year old. Yes. Is there at least some upside to the fact that you get to spend your mornings uh, with a child? No, it's great. I mean, I thought about it at first. I was like, okay, this is going to work out. You know, I have the mornings with the baby pretty much the whole day because I don't get to the theater, you know, like till 7.30 for our half hour. But it's sort of like going from one full job then to another <laughs> full job. I have two. I have two kids. Oh, I didn't realize and you it's great. Well, no, I don't. The show okay. is the second. The show kid. is the second. Yeah. <laughs> But I know yes. what you mean. And when, I, I think when you get to the end of a full day with children, yeah. the last thing you want to do is, like, a, is a Broadway show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I, re if, if I didn't love it so, so, so much, then it, you know it would be much harder. But well, fans of Glee know obviously you've you've sung all these songs before. Yeah. This is a very important show to you personally. What's it like? Does it feel like a culmination of things to finally be playing Fanny Bryce on stage? It's wild. It's really wild. This, this you know, show has been following me throughout the course of my life. I first watched the movie when I was in Spring Awakening on Broadway, and then I did so much of it on Glee, and now I'm, you know, a, a mom and a wife, and I'm doing it, and I, I really feel like this is, like, the perfect time in my life to be doing this show. And it's, it's so different, too. Like, when we did it on Glee, we were performing it in a studio, which was fun, but now, like, getting to do it on a stage with the audience and getting to just have that. It's, it's, it's so incredible. It's such a dream come true. And one of the things about this role, obviously, is Barbara Streisand played yes. it, originated it. It does seem as though a blessing from her would be important to someone like you taking it on. And you have officially heard from oh Barbara Streisand. Oh, my gosh, I did. I finally heard from Barbara. <laughs> I, I got to work the other day, and my um, my dresser, Lissa, who I love so much, had this, like, gold envelope. It was like, I don't know, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, like, getting in <laughs> invited. I would think it would arrive on, like, Dove's, like, a special carrier. Heavy? Was, was there a like, weight to it? it? No, it was light as a feather. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> and and it just and and she was there and she was like I have this for you and I just knew and I was like is it from Barbara and she said it was and it was very sweet and she wrote me this beautiful letter but one thing she said in it that I just was so she was like it's um it's really wonderful when your dreams come true isn't it and I just like fell to my knees and I called Ryan Murphy my mom Jonathan Groff and Michael Mayer <laughs> I was like these are the people who need to know but it, it was great and then I got a little nervous because I was like wait a second how do I not know that this is not fake yeah that some person is just you know like playing the the worst prank on me in the entire world but that like, you would have to be a sociopath to write that no. dreams, <laughs> dreams come true line as a prank is really so. no but it did for yes. a second there I was like wait a minute and then I knew that my co-star Ramin had gotten a letter from her when the show first opened because he knows her, he's performed with her before. So I snuck into his room, found his copy of his letter, and then just made sure that the writing was the same, and it was. And so that was all I needed. <laughs> He was like, were you in my room? I was like, yes. <laughs> you, just were, you were throwing things out of drawers? Was Everything just... was just completely... <laughs> He's know. like, either I've been robbed or Leah Michelle came in here to verify yes. handwriting. Exactly. That's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why that wasn't the first thing that he thought of. You, I think that the stress of taking on a show like this, even though you know you can sing those songs, is exponentially worse because you had to teach yourself how to tap. Well, luckily, I didn't teach myself. They yeah, had that's people. True. Yeah. <laughs> Could you, you imagine? You I was like, Leah, you here we YouTube. go. Yeah. Yes, exactly. No, I, yeah, they, they were like, this is a really important part. We really want to make sure that, you know, that you, you can do this because it is such a special part in the show that, you know, I get to do so much as Fanny. And then in the, you know, close to the end of act two, it's like, and now we're going to tap for you. And I just went in like 
super confident. I was like, I got this, you know, like I can, I'm just gonna totally learn how to do this, like nothing I've never tapped in my life. I'm like, I've had a kid, <laughs> I birthed a child, I can tap. And, um, and then I went in and within like five minutes, I think our, our amazing tap choreographer, Io, saw the blood just like drain <laughs> from my face and I just like knew it. I was like, I can't do this. <laughs> and I had to like go into the mirror in the bathroom and like have a conversation with myself. But I, I, I learned it, I figured it out, and now I get to tap on Broadway every That's night. That's great, which is I love like it. Amazing, I yeah. Seem... <laughs> I bet everybody has that moment. I think there's, they're like, if you want to, we have a talking to yourself mirror in yeah. the back. If you oh, wanna, yeah, oh yeah, I do it a lot, <laughs> I do it a lot. Um, 22 costume changes in the yeah. show. Yeah. That is. Seven, or it's like five or six wigs, something like seven wig changes and yeah. Any, I know you're working with the absolute best professionals in the world when you're doing those kind of quick changes. Yeah. Any close calls so far? Some, some close calls, some close calls. I, I, I do one change that's behind a scrim on the stage. Um, and one of our amazing uh, actresses in the show is there with me and she's helping me to change Effie. And the scrim just like quickly, just like teetered really quick. And you know, we like looked at each other and I was like, wouldn't that just be great if it just completely fell down? <laughs> Ramina's there singing, I'm there half naked. <laughs> but I'm like, you know what? If, if any show, this is like the perfect show where Fanny would think of some like hilarious line to say and everyone would laugh and you know we, we would make it we'd make it work I think everyone who was there would not complain yeah. <laughs> what about have you uh, you know a show like this obviously you're gonna have people who show up that you met over the course of your career or maybe people who you've seen over the course of their career have you seen any recognizable faces it's, in the crowd? It's funny though, because everyone, some people that I know that come to the show, they're like, do you want to know like if I'm there? Or they'll be like, I didn't want to tell you I was there. I'm like, no, I love it. Like I, I love, you know, Ryan Murphy, um, who's, you know, my dear friend, he's come to see the show now three times. And every time he comes, I like give him a little, you know, <laughs> thing. I think it's great. I. But Nicole Kidman was there the other night and I saw her and I like froze and I was like, cause no one's wearing masks and, and you can see everyone now. And so I got nervous for like a second and then I was like, okay. But it's, it's, it's so great cause it's super interactive and coming from having my last Broadway show Spring Awakening, it was very serious, intense subject matter. But this is like, we get to have so much fun. Every night is, is something new and different and fun. I am also so excited, and I think everybody else here as well, that you're gonna do a song for us tonight. I am. And <laughs> we also, the cast album. Yes, for the Broadway. cast album. So I, I can't <laughs> believe I'm gonna send you off to get ready for a Broadway show, even though you have the night I off. Know. Thank you so much for being here. You guys, Thank that's Lady Michelle, Honey Girls playing. <laughs> now at the August 1st Theater in New York, we'll be right back with Janelle Vings.